Hey guys, Devin the Solar Dude here. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to analyze an electricity bill. Okay, so this is an important skill to have. You're gonna do this um, after the second step of the process, right? So you're gonna ask the customer for their electricity bill. If they ask you why, tell them this. Mr. Homeowner, I'm gonna be analyzing your electricity bill to find out how many kilowatt hours of energy you need per year so I can build your system to offset your bill. So. I need to see how many kilowatt hours you use, how much energy you need, in other words, so we can zero out your electricity bill with solar. So how you do this is you get the bill from them and you look at the bill, right? There's a few ways you can do this. The most common way is you get the bill and you look at the bill. On the bill, you will see a graph that has 12 lines on it. It's just a bar graph that shows you how many kilowatt hours they use every month. You take each bar and you add up each bar to find out their yearly consumption, and then you put that in your, your solar proposal software. So that's one way to do it. Also, if there's only like three months of electricity or they only have one or two months of electricity, you can take those individual months, put them into the software, and the software will auto-populate the rest of the electricity usage. Um, it's usually pretty accurate, and as you get more experience, you know, you'll, you'll be able to just kind of spitball and, and get to know things. It's important that you explain to the customer what you're doing, right? Um, a third way you can get, get analyze the electricity bill is call the electricity company. So you can just Google the name of the electricity company and then give them a call. Um, be, be on a three-way call or have the customer with you because they're going to ask to verify their information. And then you can ask the provider how many kilowatt hours they used over the last year. So to recap, you can either find the bar graph on the bill and add all that up to get their 12-month consumption. Or if you only have a few months, you can put that in the software and it'll auto-populate the rest of the months. Or the third way is you can call the electricity company. So make sure to get the usage so the customer can say yes to you, right? If they don't feel confident that you know how many solar panels they need, um, which you know you, you find out by knowing how, many, how much electricity they need, then they are not going to feel confident um, to say yes to you and move forward with the with the process. So that's very important. Also, to calculate the customer's average electricity bill, so you can compare their solar payment to what they're paying now, simply take how much they paid for a certain month on their electricity bill, take that and divide by how many kilowatt hours they used for that month, and that will give you the true rate, right? So say like 0.12 or 0.16, right? And then you simply take that, right, 16 cents, so 0.16, and multiply that by the average monthly consumption, right? And then that will give you their average electricity bill. So let's say their average consumption is 1,000 kilowatt hours per month. What you're going to want to do is multiply that by 0.16, and that will give you 160. So that's their average electricity bill. And then you can use their average electricity bill to compare that to how much they're paying for solar to close the deal and help them sign up. So I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions.